I am so thankful for that this morning. If you have your Bibles, turn to Exodus chapter 3. We'll read verses 7 through 10. And then verses 19 through 21. Once again, don't forget to pray for those that, that are not here. Those that are not able to be in the house of God. My Lord and my pray God. for those who just chose not to be in the house my of God. We want to pray for everyone because God is coming back and He's looking for a people who have yes. made themselves I'm ready, ready. God. I'm ready. And I I'm really ready. want to stress that. He's coming back for a people that has made themselves ready. In Exodus chapter 3, beginning with verse 7, so that the Lord said, I have surely seen the affliction of my people. You can rest assured that if you've been going through it, God was watching you, yes. sheltering you, yes. and bringing you through I your affliction. He says, the affliction of my people which are in Egypt. Egypt is always a type of the world. And have heard their cry by reason of their taskmasters. For I know their sorrows. Everybody said, God knows exactly yeah. what I'm going through. He knows what I'm going through. He does. He knows exactly what you're going through. He said, And I have come down to deliver them out of the hand of the Egyptians. Yeah. God said, I've come down to deliver them out of the hands of the world. Oh, what's your favor? Uh, and to bring them up out of that land to a good and a large unto a land flowing with milk and honey. He went into the place of the Canaanites and the Hittites and the Amorites, yes, the Hesites and the Hittites and the Jebusites. Verse 9 says, Therefore, behold, the cry of the children of Israel is come up unto me. And I have also seen the oppression wherewith the Egyptians oppress them. I want you to know everything that's going on in our world yeah. this morning. God sees it. He understands right. what's happening. It's to right. persecute the church. Come on. It really is. My God help me. Number 10, come now therefore and I will send thee unto Pharaoh that thou mayest bring forth my people, the children, out of Egypt. Jumping down to verse 19, he said, I am sure that the king of Egypt will not let you go. No, not by a mighty hand. And God said, and I will stretch out my hand yes, sir. and smite Egypt yeah. with all my wonders which I will do in the midst thereof. Yes, sir. And after that, he will let you go. Verse 21, and I will give this people favor in the sight of of the Egyptians. Amen. God is saying, I will give this people favor in the sight God. of the world. And it shall come to pass that when you go, you shall not go empty. No. Look at your neighbors that God is fixing to the, let his divine favor rest upon me. Tell them on me. God is fixing to let his divine God favor rest, on, rest on you. To rest upon us. Praise God. And I want to talk to you this morning. Thank you God. have more favor yes. than you think. Yes, sir. You have more favor yes, for God. than you think. Hallelujah. Lord, we love you. We're so thankful for your word. I worship you. I praise you for everything oh, that you do for us. Lord, now we ask for the anointing of the Holy Ghost. I to rest upon my people, mind, and upon the ears of my people. Let them understand that we are not in bondage, but that we are free yes. because of truth. You said to so know the truth, and the truth will make them free. Yes. I love you this morning, yes. touch and share. Yes. God bless. Go with us in Jesus' name, we pray. And the church said, Amen. Concerning the daily sacrifices. And we may suppose. 
suppose that these, his morning work was to prepare them and to set those sacrifices in order. Don't think for a moment that all Abraham did was flatter himself. Come on now, Pastor. Don't think for a moment all Abraham did was flatter himself. No, sir. When he had done this, he abode by them, praying and waiting till toward evening. I want you to know, God often keeps his people longing in expectation yes. of the comfort I love that he desires for them. Yes. God's master plan for each and every one of our lives. He is creating a plan yes, sir. that will edify you and edify the Lord. Yes, Lord. God sends the worst first. God always sends the worst yeah. first. Amen. We must first suffer. Yes. And then we rise up, rule and reign. Yes, sir. God also lets us know what the worst is before it comes. That when it comes, it doesn't surprise us. No, sir. David said, the very thing that I fear has come upon me. We need to quit living in fear. Right. And begin to understand that we are the children of God. We're and that God has called us. God has anointed us.
can't even stall the night. His dad stopped the other day and I said, how's he get going school? He said, well, he's 14 and he hates every day of it but his life. I said, there's nothing about school he likes. He don't like lunch because he don't like what they fix. He said he don't like the teachers because they tell him what to do. He don't like, not the only thing that I think he likes, Dad, is recess. Anybody, when you were in school, did you feel that way? There's one right there. I was glad the truck made was over. But I want you to understand something. The children of Israel was given a word from God that they would be in bondage 400 years. And we know the story that they went there. They put them in the land of Goshen. And it was a, a completely across the river from, from Egypt. And they were there in Goshen. And the king, the Pharaoh, said, well, surely they're not going to prosper. But the Bible says they prospered every day. The Bible says that they, they stayed healthy. The only ones that died that were those that were put to death. Why was it? Why didn't their shoes wear out when they were in the wilderness of sin? Why didn't their clothes wear out? Because they had the divine favor of God. They went 40 years in that wilderness. They went through all kind of persecution. They were, they were attacked and beaten and everything else. But they had always prospered. Yes, sir. When they were hungry, God set manna falling from the sky. Where's this coming from? Moses said, don't worry about it. It's the favor of God. They got tired of eating manna. Amen. And they said, Lord, we sure would like some meat to eat men. And there was no Walmart. There was no Rouse's. There was no Super Wood. But they wanted meat. And the Bible says that the quail flew in from the sky.
Nothing at all. He said, anything that comes from God yeah. is great. Yes. But you never get it until you're willing to suffer. Until yes. you're willing to be persecuted. Yes. Until you're willing to be talked about and lied on. Yes. I want you to understand this morning. God is in the business of dealing out divine favor upon His people. No man war entangle himself with the affairs as a good soldier calls the Bible said it is only after suffering will God establish you. If you're wondering who God is surely going to greatly bless look at that person who's being persecuted. If somebody's being persecuted, if somebody is being lied on, if God, if God is allowing you to go through some of the things that might have happened, you need to be rejoicing. Yeah. Some of the other reasons.
is highly favored and highly hated ah. at the same time. This hatred is not by his enemy, but the hatred was by his own brothers. Tell it, Pastor. You kind of accept it as somebody you don't really know if they persecute you. Well, they just they don't know me. Right. But when your own household persecutes you. Come on now. When your own household begins to talk about That's it. That's the truth. When your own household and that Joseph was here with brothers, amen, that were from different, a different mother. And God was setting him up to bless him. There's just some people, no matter how much you reach out to them, no matter how much you include them, they simply will not like you. Tell them, Pastor. You're going to have to understand that. Plant wheat and corn and grain. We've got to plant it on every square inch of ground that you 
brothers pulled him out and sold him into slavery. Amen. Joseph's brothers were jealous of him. Amen. And they set out to destroy Joseph and to get rid of him. Because when you're truly blessed, yes. they just as well not look at you or acknowledge you. Because if they do, they will have to acknowledge the goodness and the mercy and the favor of God. Said, how much more are you going to take? Uh -huh. 
I'm going to tell you, we've lost our fortune. There's power and pain. We've lost our children. There's power and hope. We have nothing, Joseph. We've lost everything. But because Job had the favor of God. God. You remember what happened to Job? Why? Because God prayed on him. Yes, sir. The sons of God, the angels, met in heaven and the devil was there. And the Lord said, where have you been, Satan? He said, walk into the room, throw through the church of the earth, seeking whom I can depart. And the Lord said, if you observe Brother Job, he said, there's none like him on the face of the earth. Have you seen my when son Job's Job? Job's children had parties. Job didn't go to the party. He stayed home and put sackcloth and hat on and prayed for the protecting hand of God. Over his kids. Hallelujah. He said, peradventure, they might have seen it. I don't want it hanging over their head. No. Pray. The word of God says, his wife looked at him and says, how long will you retain your integrity? I said, he said, I'm retaining my integrity because I have the favor of God. How can you say you got the favor of God? We lost everything. Your body's full of sores and buds. And Joe looked at it and he said, the Lord did it and the Lord take it away. Blessed be the name of the Lord. You need to quit worrying, quit sitting around in the moment of God and understand that the divine favor of God is up on your life. That you're going to recover. That you're going to come out of it. God is going to deliver. I will 
will sing unto the Lord I'm going to sing to you as long as, long as, as I live. I will sing praises to my God. He's driving 
turns around and looks. And when he turned back around on the road, he made a sharp turn. He lodged that car between two big pine trees. You couldn't even open the doors. We could have hit him head on. I could have been taken out into eternity. Oh, God. And I think about that. I know that God's favor yes. was with me. Amen. They began to suffer from the pressures of slavery. In doing so, they lost their dignity. They lost their direction. Yes, sir. And they lost their destiny. Talking about the children of Israel. They needed someone to emancipate them. Okay. They needed to be free to run and dance, worship the one true God. They were the children of God, but they were going through great pain. When unrelenting blows keeps coming your way, it's a sure sign that God is getting ready to open a window for you. Yes! I believe that! Oh, Saul says, the windows of heaven are open. God's power is falling tonight. There's joy, joy, joy in my heart. Since Jesus made everything, Jesus made everything right, I gave him my own importance. He gave me a cup of pure wine. Tonight. Man stopped me the other day when we were talking. He looked at my old truck. His body's still in pretty good shape. I said, Yeah, the engine ain't too bad either. Come on. He said, Well, I'm looking for a good used truck. Why don't you sell it to me? I said, Because you great buy a new truck. That's the truth. General Motors has shut production down. Oh my God. We that the other day. They shut production down. They said, what's the use of making vehicles if we can't get the chips for, for the vehicles? Where do the chips come from? China. All the way from China. China's got its hand around the throat of America. They own more property than the heirs own more property than the United States and the United States citizens. We are so deeply in debt to today that I want you to understand if they were to come in and foreclose, we would all be under communist rich China. Yeah. They could take our land. But the church has favor. We're still here. The church, the church is still here. Has favor. Abraham, the promise of God is that God will bring them out with the great substance. You hear this if God can make a promise of this magnitude to yes, Abraham, sir. do you not think that the same God who will deliver the children of Israel cannot deliver us? In the year 2021, hallelujah. He can, he will, he will. but it will come with a cost. Right. The cost is high. Right. He said, if my people who are called by my name yes. Will humble themselves and pray. Yes! We are living in a prayerless society today. People just don't want to pray. No. Come in Sunday evening and see who comes to pray. See the few that come. I can count on my two hands. People just don't want to pray. That's too much hard work. I'm telling you, there's an hour coming when you're going to be forced to pray. I'm telling you, we have no next hour. We got just a little text the other day with people 
Exodus chapter 5, verse 6. And Pharaoh commanded the same day the taskmasters of the people and their officers saying, This verse. Ye shall no more give the people straw to make brick as heretofore. Let it go and gather straw for themselves. Next verse. Let their own work be laid upon the men that they may labor therein and let them not regard their words. It's coming. What was happening here, the people of God, is that things are now getting worse for them. You see the whistle would blow and they were going to work in the slime pits of, of the Pharaoh. And they, they furnished them with water and mud and straw. And the Pharaoh just kept asking more and more. They got worse of Joseph, Joel, Daniel, Paul. But God has not forgotten them, nor has He forsaken them. Never remind yourself you have more favor than you think. I got more favor now. All you have to do is wait on the Lord. Yes! Isaiah said, Blessed are they that wait upon the Lord, for they shall renew their strength. They shall run and not be weary. They shall mount up with wings as eagles. Why? Because they have. God was setting them up to bless them. Amen. You need to remind yourself you have more favor than you think. You have way more favor. Every once in a while, you buy somebody, hug their neck, say, You got the divine favor. You got the divine favor. Of God. You got the divine you got favor. favor, of God. favor of God. Remind yourself. All you have to do you is, is wait on the Lord. The Bible you says that they that wait on the Lord shall renew their strength. Despite what the Pharaoh of the world does, yeah. I'm going to wrap my mind That's the truth. in prayers. Amen. Wrap my mind in prayer and wrap my mind on the favor of God. That's the truth. Hallelujah. Please stay. Despite what the Pharaoh of the world does, Despite the Antichrist. we're going to make it. We're going to make it. Regardless of what Pharaoh of the world decrees, I'm on the verge of the greatest blessing that God has Spider ever hell. poured out on man. We're going to make it. Greatest breakthrough that we've ever seen. Why? Because the devil is persecuting God's people. That's the truth. Greatest anointing of God in your life All right. is just out of heaven. Because you have favor of God I got your favor. on your life. And the devil can't take it. Acts 17, and I close. The devil cannot stop. Acts 17. And delivered him out of all his afflictions and gave him favor and wisdom in the sight of Pharaoh, king of Egypt. And he made him governor over Egypt and all his house. God has put you in the church. Hear me this morning. God has put you into the church for such a time as this. You're not here by accident. Their son should already be dead. Son should already be dead. Son should be in prison right now. But you have the divine favor of God. Every head bow and every eye points. Lord, we love you this morning. You kept me from death. You have placed the divine favor of God upon you. You have because they have humbled themselves and prayed and sought your face.